Students and former students of Bishop Gorman High School are voicing concerns to 8 News Now about issues they believe school leaders need to do something about. What started with a few social media posts has now turned into a movement for change at the school. And just today, school administration sent an email to the Bishop Gorman community referring to, quote, disparaging social media activity, unquote, and responding. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy is bringing you both sides tonight. She talked with students and also tried to talk with school leaders. She has this story that you'll only see on 8 News Now. Bishop Gorman is the oldest Catholic high school in Las Vegas, founded in 1954 and known for its football education and national recognition. Now students and former students are speaking up on social media, saying they were treated unfairly based on their race, gender, or sexual orientation. I want to believe that God is all loving, accepting, and not to be feared, but after my experience in high school, I can't. Michael Menor posted this on Instagram after graduating in July. I've had people refer to me as the gay kid, and, you know, that hurts. I have a name. Jen Ron Yee also graduated this year. In the back of my head, I was like, administration like Sue type people like me. Another student who just completed her freshman year and her father also talked with us. They've asked us not to reveal their names or faces. As an African-American teenage girl, all I wanted was acceptance. The 15-year-old's dad says he officially withdrew his daughter from the school this week after seeing the many social media posts. I'm proud that she has you know, taken this position and um, has stood up and frankly made myself and my wife more aware of, of some real concerns that she has. The I team reached out to the school principal and president asking for interviews. Instead, a spokeswoman sent us a statement which reads in part, we respect the right of every person to express his or her opinion and we welcome critical feedback that helps us improve as a school and as educators of young people. When we receive feedback from students who disagree with certain rules, policies or Catholic teachings, we listen. But that does not mean we change every rule or policy in question. Multiple students say they believe the administration hasn't done enough to fix issues within the school, including racism. Me being called the N-word, me being bashed because of my skin color and getting called all of these horrible things. There's this game called Kahoot where you put names in and one student entered his name as uh, white power. Some students question action they say administrators have taken. He says after he wore nail polish to a costume event and was reprimanded, the policy was changed, banning male students from wearing it. Those rules were like meant to discriminate against gay people. Part of the school statement also reads, the suggestion Bishop Gorman does not address incidents reported to us or that we do not support our students is simply untrue. To suggest that the administration is not supportive simply because a desired outcome was not achieved or because the outcome was not made known to others does not mean the issue was not addressed, nor does such a statement reflect or respect the processes the school has in place to address student conduct. Students say one change school administrators made that they agree with is the cancellation of a boys versus girls tradition, an event which they say became offensive. The boys would just let loose on, you know, the worst they could to make the girls feel horrible about themselves. Um, you know, they say things like, make me a sandwich or we get paid more. Some students say Bishop Gorman has a long way to go, but both graduates also have positive memories at the school. A lot of talent, a lot of friends, a lot of memories, but some days the bad just outweighed the good. He's now part of a social media movement calling for administrators to make changes for Gorman's future graduates. I like to say to like the youth queer people just to like be themselves and that the like the people of power um sometimes they just do things to exercise that power over you to feel something more than you people could watch this and say it's a catholic school we know what the catholic religion teaches it's a private school what would you say to that as a in-transition Catholic, I know that 
the religion teaches us to love through people's differences and to treat people with love. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Now, Vanessa reached out to the Department of Education to find out what kind of oversight it might have for Bishop Gorman, and we did not receive a response. Now, we do have the full statement from Bishop Gorman and the email sent to the school community on our website for you at 8newsnow.com, along with a link to Safe Voice, where reports can be made by students in Nevada.